Hi, this is David from TIPCO. Today I'm going to give you an introduction into the auto capture system. First, I'll show you the purpose of the tool, so what you can do with it. Then I'll show you the administration tasks you can do within OCS. So like um, creating new users, managing your subscribers, or reloading the catalog from the web UI. And finally, I'm going to place an order for a subscriber. So first I'm going to give you a quick overview and uh, show you the purpose of the tool. So basically OCS supports the auto capture process. So it allows you to put in products into the basket of a subscriber, configure them and to finally place an order. Um, it's web based. So you have a graphic UI you can access from Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Chrome, for example. Um, it's sales agent based, so it's not uh, like a typical web shop where the subscriber selects the products he wants, but it's more like a sales agent does it for you. So you first select the subscriber you want to get products for, and then you typically compose the order for the subscriber and as it is now it's mostly meant for being used for demos and for testing your product model and the user experience you get with it. So now I'm going to show you the administrative tasks you can do with OCS. So therefore we first log in as the admin user and was admin is password. And then I'll show you how you can actually add new users. So you go to this button here and then to user management. For a user, you just need to provide the user ID you're going to log in with his first name and last name, and then the password. And then there are mainly two roles. So there's the admin user, the one I'm now, or the admin role to be more precise. And there's a non-admin user. So admin users obviously can do these administrative tasks, while regular users can just place orders. Okay. And then I'll show you how you can add or modify subscribers. So you go to subscriber management, then you end up in this screen. And here you can change subscribers and stores. So if I click on subscribers, I will get the list of subscribers that are already created. And here I can create a new one. So I provide ID or customer ID. Case of a private person, it's mostly the same one. Then you provide first name and last name. Since when he's a member which is the closest store. So we've just seen that the, you can also configure stores. This is the list of available stores now. Then delivery address, and invoice address. You can either use the same or configure one yourself. And that's how you create subscribers. So if we go back quickly, also show you that here you can create new stores Okay, and finally I'll show you how you can reload the catalog from the web UI. So you go up there and then click reload catalog. Then here you have to check these boxes. As you see, you have to clear all sessions. 
reload the packages and sign out the current session as well. So at the moment, OCS needs to end all sessions before it can reload the catalog. That's what we're going to do now. So if you click reload, it will automatically log us off and reload the catalog in the background. Okay, let me log in again. So now we're going to place an order for a customer. So therefore, we're first going to search for the customer. This can be done either by just using the percentage sign to search for the customers. So you get all back. Or you just put in a fragment of a customer, like I want to get Robert. And here I have Robert Johnson. I now select the customer and we are now in the product selection screen. Um, on top you will have the possibility to select bundles or single products. So the difference is that bundles are composed of other offerings, while products are just the single offerings. And Robert called us and he's really excited about the TB offering, so we gonna offer and order for him the Broadband Plus Bundle, which contains our TV offering. So we're going to select the Broadband Plus, press Customize, then the screen shows up. Here we select the TV offering. In order to get TV over Internet, he obviously also needs Internet. Since he just moved into his new apartment, he also needs installation for the internet. We have pre-selected yes, so we could also say no, but leave it with yes. And he wants to take over his old number for voice as well. So here it's yes, and we provide a new number or actually his existing number. And then we are done with configuring the product. And we add it to the cart. So as you have seen, once I add it to the cart, OCS automatically calls eligibility again with your modified cart. So if you have restrictions in your other products like incompatibilities or some max or min um, dependencies they will automatically be resolved so whenever you put something in your basket or modify it your product selection will also change so we added our offering now now we go to the checkout screen where we see what we've ordered we can also see the customer details again, so where to ship and where to bill. Here we also have to visit this possibility to change the order. So we can modify this again, or we can make notes to a certain product if we want to. But he's really excited. And we could also put in a later delivery date. But since he's so excited, we're going to leave it like that. Save. And then we finally place the order. Then the order is automatically submitted to the order management system. And here you'll have the order ID. You can search for them in the order management. So this was the target of the video and thank you for watching.